And now we have Jason Rago from NFC Couples Bangalore to share with us his mission story. Hello brothers and sisters in Christ. Jay Yeshu. My name is Jason Rago and I'm part of South Bangalore Couples. I joined community back in 2015 and my first mission was somewhere around in 2016 to a small uh, city called Udupi. Now I was part of this mission because I was part of music ministry. not because i really wanted to go out and bring souls closer to god that was not my intention uh, quite a lot of things have changed from then till now because i've been to several other missions and i've come to know few aspects of missionary life and how i perceive mission to be so yeah there's few points that i would like to bring it up the first one is matthew in matthew 9 37 to 38 it says harvest is plentiful but the laborers are few it is rightly said I remember this guy in Chennai when I was in uh, I had gone there for a CLS. This guy comes up to me and says, "Jason, you're so lucky at this age. You are uh, you I get a chance to go and evangelize, go and go and proclaim good news, go and speak about Jesus to other people and do all this stuff. I don't know what I was doing at your age. There are people who really want to know more about Jesus. There are people who are yearning to be closer to God, but there are very few people who are ready to go out there and go and spread the good news so that is one thing i i have understood and the second one is uh, about brotherhood and sisterhood and what do i mean by that is uh, there are people out there who would really want to share their life with others but they wouldn't want to share it with their friends because they are constantly being judged or with their parents uh, because they are not comfortable they would like to share it with someone like a brother or a sister uh they would like to have that bond of brotherhood or sisterhood whenever i had one on one with youth or the singles i've seen many of them share their lives out and i have not to uh, not to joke around but i truly have teared up many times as well uh because they have because they have shared their lives out with me and i have felt really good because i know that i have been a kind of a brother to them during that time and they were able to share they are they are sadness and the joy with me uh the third one is the art of intercession prayers is one of the pillars of a missionary life there is lot of spiritual warfare that is being going on uh, always goes on whenever a session is happening or whenever a series is happening and we don't understand that we are so engrossed in helping others and doing stuff that we forget about the whole concept of prayers uh, i have seen the entire scenario of uh, the inter- uh, the cl has been changed because of the intercession so that is one third point i'm sure in 2022 there are a lot of missions that are lined up uh, and that are bombarded with and i'm sure that if you guys have not stepped out of your uh, comfort zone if you would like to be a part of mission i would suggest you guys to at least speak to your household servants chapter 7 or else there is always the country servant i'm sure there are missions lined up uh, for the next year just take a step forward go and share the good news the joy the love and see that not only will you be changed will you with the things in you change but also the things in uh, the love in others change as well and it's always a joy to bring other souls closer to god may god bless you all thank you